Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Man in the Attic. I do not approve of this. Apparently, he needs to get out of my attic. Um, yeah, enough said. Let's play a horror game. Uh, options. Ultra. Uh, we'll, we'll stick to 19... Oh, God, what have I done? Full screen, maybe? Yes? Okay, I'm done touching stuff. Let's start the game. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I am an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. How nice. Uh, okay, we're in a game. Find phone. <laughs> Got it. Uh, start to any good horror game, find your phone. This is weird atmosphere. Beautiful game, though. Beautifully done. I am walking as fast as a snail. Who doesn't even walk? Do snails walk? I thought they crawl. I don't know. Uh, let's find my phone. Uh, uh, okay, it's over here. Uh, this is downstairs. Okay, let's go downstairs. Uh, bu -bu -bu phone! Check phone. Hey, brother. I just want to let you know that we arrived home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time, and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are. In their imagination, she was probably tired as well. See you later. Take care. Continue. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. What do I have to clean up? Clean up dining table. Uh, clean table? What if I just said no? <laughs> uh, the game probably wouldn't go on. Uh, oh, this is a new thing. Today my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she is my niece. It's been a while since I'd last seen them, so we spent about a half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm pretty good. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Good story. Uh, where's kitchen? I have found the kitchen. Boy, you need some art. You need something. Do dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs and get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs, staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably getting tired, and soon after, they left for the night. Once again, completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Why does it sound familiar? Kind of worried now. Okay, continue. Uh, what do you want me to do next, game? Uh, time to get some sleep. Do you want me to take this phone? I'm going to try to grab the phone. Go to bed. Yeah, but I need to set an alarm. Nope, leaving the phone down here. Fuck you, world. <laughs> Time to go to bed. What's up there? Is that my attic? According to Lily's story, this is where the man was just standing, looking straight at her from this doorway, before returning to the attic, just like my dreams. Okay. Am I going to bed now? Uh, okay. These noises, they are coming from the attic. 
Am I asleep now? All right, let's go check it out. Stay there, plant. Whatever you are, you were a plant. Uh, and this is open now. Got it. I don't remember leaving this door open. You didn't. I checked before. Had some weird atmospheric rumble. Well, that's some odd artwork, isn't it? Uh, okay. No? Anything? Nothing? No? This is stupid. There's nothing up here. So, what's with the sounds? Eh, that's probably fine. All right. Bedtime. Still rumbling. And the rumbly's gone. Got it. No? Not done? I'm trying to go to bed. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause. But you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Do I have to click something? Nope. Just gonna do it. Is the man in the attic real? Am I floating towards the door? I'm not controlling this, by the way. Well... Hi. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic, or the man in the basement, perhaps the man under your bed. Is this like a lesson? Are you just trying to... Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. You know, I'll, I'll give you kudos for... You're right, making it kind of specific. I, it was very atmospheric, just short. Um, so I think I'm going to supplement this in... Yeah, I'm going to do a different game on top of this. Why not? Let's keep the trend going. I think I've only been... That was like seven minutes, something like that. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, do another one. Okay, that's kind of loud. All right, this one's called Wake Up. Wake Up. The Wadding. I believe this game was made during a game jam. Uh, wow. So it's pixelated slash blurry. I think that really adds to something in the horror uh, part of it. But what do I know? Uh, is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Skateboard? Can I skateboard? No. How about some lights? Bed? No. Nothing. Okay. Um. Oh, door's open. Uh, thank you. I guess. Uh huh. Wow, it even has, like, light bulb sound. Huh. Okay. So I can interact with doors. It just didn't want to let me open that one. Boy, this is... different. Uh, let's try to leave. I cannot leave. Uh, oh, that's fridge. I was like, man, that's a big-ass fridge. Oh my god, okay, close. Close? There it goes. Is it right click? Oh, it's right click. Okay. Click to interact. This is bleach. Is this bleach or water? What am I? What is my goal here? Uh, fuck you, bottle. I need to drink something now with my big ass fridge. Okay. It's going back there. What else can I do? 
Uh, okay. I just had some water. Is it time for me to go back to bed? Yeah. Oh. What's this? Uh, this is, uh... <laughs> this is an interesting bathroom. Wait, did I have that this entire time? Yeah, I do what I want, Cup. Take that. I didn't know I still had that in my hands. Um... Yeah. I think that's, uh... About all I can do here is try to go back to bed. No? Okay. Alright, well... Alright, now we're trying to go to bed. Perfect. I think. Uh, what's that sound? Sounds like a leak. Uh, okay. Come from this bathroom? Indeed, it is. That looked like it was blood in there before... Oh. I'm in the woods now. Hello, are you a car? got a different vibe to it. I'll, I'll give it that. Yes. Find the key. Got it. What is that? Eyeballs? I don't know what that is. Am I getting closer? Kind of tough to tell. Oh, lots of, lots of, oh, it's a chandelier. Got it. Uh, key? Got the key. I picked that up very loudly. Excuse me, this is going to take uh, two minutes to get to this door, so bear with me. How have you... Uh-huh. Yeah. That was really loud. Oh, okay. I Oh. I'm back home now. Please, no more cheap jump scares. That hurt my ears. Now, oh, come on. You did it again. Cheap jump scare again. That was wake up. Um, so I did get kind of some chills, I will say that, from the jump scares, but I think it's because the sound was abrupt. Less about why. I, I like things that are just well placed and they're. You know, the tension kind of leads up to that moment. With those, I just have no choice. Um, so I. I respect the fact this is made for a game jam. I'll say that. It had a different graphical type, different atmosphere. Don't don't really appreciate the cheap jump scare sort of thing. I don't think that added to anything. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe one more. Let's try one more, huh? All right, so this is called Schizophrenic Rooms. Um, now, I will preface this uh, by saying... If you're, you know, sensitive to this kind of content or prone to anything, uh, whether it be being offended even by it, um, you know, maybe this one isn't for you and that's not anyone's fault. Um, I also kind of have a proclivity to kind of avoid games like this that that lean towards, you know, conditions, things like that. Just Just due to the fact that I don't, most of them use that as a horror element. And and I don't necessarily agree with that. There are some, you know, like sleep paralysis games that bring attention to it because it's a very real thing. And it's it's just to try and share that type of knowledge uh, and compassion to it. I don't know whether this one quite does that. Um, 
I the developer I think said that it was made in like four days and it was their first game, which just even this screen right here. I mean, kudos to you. You can do more than I can do in making a game. And uh, I guess we'll experience it together, huh? So let's click play and see what we got. I'm at a desk. Some time ago, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. So maybe this will just be one of those tying it to it. With this, it is increasingly difficult for me to leave the company uh, for where I work. Sorry, my other monitor was kind of in the way. Um, hope I can get out today. Uh, schizophrenia diagnosis result positive. I can't see that much. Uh, so are you trying to leave work? That's some weird footsteps here, but... Still, I I appreciate indie horror games like this that have their own kind of unique style. Um, oh, there's a mannequin there. Wonderful. And that's when the sounds begin. Hello. Let's uh, let's continue. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. Did you change? Yeah, mannequin's gone. All right. You want to talk about this, or I have a sprint meter. Calm down, my gosh. Are those eyeballs down there? Oh, it's looping. Wow. Okay. Different. Cool. I love how the sound is what got me. Not you, the sound. Um. <laughs> okay, well, let's go downstairs. Was there someone walking up here? Are you still here? No, you're gone. Oh, okay. Cool. I like it. Did any of you move? I guess I didn't fully come into this uh, room here. Okay. This might seem like a crazy question, but what does schizophrenia have to do with mannequins? I Maybe I don't know. So far, pretty creepy. Hey, guys. Um. So, uh... I forgot the beer. Um, I know, I know. It was it was my only job, and I I forgot it. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, kind of loops a little bit. I like that. Okay, this is a trap. Clearly. Uh, e. F. Slowly turn around here. Ah, okay, nothing there. Got it. <laughs> the new TV brand that whenever it turns on, it makes a dramatic orchestra hit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave that on. I don't care about my power bill. Uh, kitchen? Kind of looks like a movie set. Much respect to you, developer. I, I really have to say that. Shift to run. Why do I have to run? Are you just trying to get me through this faster? No, I'm going to take my time. Unless I have to turn around and run really quick. That's fine. I don't care if you're moving away from me. Unless you need me to catch up with you to move forward. Let's see what happens if I don't run. Okay, more of this. Let's try this. There we go. So you wanted me to do that. Uh, you look like you're a doorway. Mm hmm. What did that have to do with anything? Everything is blurry now. Oh. Hi. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
there's someone peeking around the corner there. Right. Kind of like a sliding glass door or something. Okay. Like this. Ah, that takes a while to recharge. Sure. Okay, I'm out of stamina. Not good. Is there something behind me? I'm not going to turn around, but... Sounds like there's something behind me. Yeah? Aha! Uh -huh. Did I make it? No. Uh... Do you have to find a combination? Hello, mannequin. Okay. One is X, two, blah, blah, blah. So. Hmm. Interesting. The amount of characters in each thing? Is that what I have to count? Did not expect there to be kind of a puzzle element right here at the end. Um. Are there symbols on these things? That I don't know about. So is that one of the symbols? Hold on. Okay. What do those paintings have to do with... Hey, do you know the answer? Uh, what do what do those paintings have to do with... Um, the code? Because I, I don't see any... Oh, there are symbols on them. So, uh, looks like uh, upside down letter L. That's four. Uh, that one was like a wavy X. Um, one, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. One, four, one. Uh, there's like a backwards H, four, one. Three. Four, one, three. Nine. Four, one, three, nine. Four, wait, did I hit it? Four, one, three, nine. Yay. Hi, are you going down with me? There's only one choice. Which floor? Okay. Oh, I couldn't control there for a second. Hey, you just, uh, yeah, don't look at me like that. Uh, great weather we're having, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just gonna hit this button again. Hi. Oh, your head follows me. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank God. That was awkward. Long hallway. Jump scare city. Is there any point in running? Just just let me have it. Just go ahead. There we go. Uh-huh. I see the exit there. You're probably not going to let me get there. Right? gonna make it <coughs> no 
didn't make it. I passed out. Man dies of heart attack on his way out of work after outbreak of schizophrenia. Ah, boy, that's got to be brutal. Um, hmm. So this is one of those that kind of brings attention to a very real, um, real thing. So I, I will hats off for, for doing that. That probably was the best of the three. Uh, Scare-wise, it didn't rely on too many cheap jump scares. It got me kind of once, but uh, no, I enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there and say thank you for watching. Until next time.